So after we've been uh, working on our ordering intents for a while, we've created a pretty flexible order bot that allows us, for example, to say, do you have uh, pizza fungi? And then it says, yes, what size do you want it in? Uh, well, I can say normal, but I can also ask what sizes do you have? And now this is the point where I want to create an FAQ to actually answer uh, questions like that. So one important question that people might actually ask is also what uh, types of pizza do you order, uh, do you offer? And that's just not something that our ordering intents can answer for now. So I will go into the knowledge feature, which is beta and create an FAQ. And because it's still in beta mode currently, I need to go into my settings and enable beta features and then hit save. Um, so let's create a knowledge base, pizza knowledge base. And then I'm not really sure what the plan with this feature is. So why I have to create a knowledge base first and now I will create my FAQ. I'm sure they have something planned, the dialogue flow team, but I'm not entirely sure. So. All I'm going to do is now create a document. That's what they say with a pizza FAQ. And for that, I prepared a document with some questions and answers. Um, yeah, so starting with what pizza size do you have? And then uh, if people have specific questions about how big or, or small the sizes are, uh, we have that in inch. Uh, do you offer any vegetarian pizzas? Uh, what's what's in the fungi pizza? Or what toppings does the fungi pizza have? Also important to know. Maybe you have allergies you want to know. Um, yeah, so all of this, uh, unfortunately, I can't just uh, copy and paste it into Dialogflow. I need to provide either a um oh yeah let's select faq i need to provide either an html or a csv document now i imagine if you have a good markdown editor you could just copy this and create an html page out of this quite easily i went the other way i copied this and created a csv file which was probably more work by hand than the the other way with the markdown and html would be but now i have it um, so it's very simple. You put your question in the beginning inside quotation marks, then you have a comma and then you have the answer in quotation marks and then you have to have a new line and that's it. So I will go and import this now. Upload file from computer. Um, I think the idea behind this is, uh, and the idea behind the fact that you can input HTML, that many companies will already have an FAQ on their website, and then you can just actually provide the URL of that existing uh, FAQ. So that makes it very easy in that case. But in my case, I only have a bot, and I don't have a website yet with my pizza FAQ, so that's the way I had to choose. And now it's working. Okay, and uh, this is very important. You have to add a response by hand, even though you just click and then this is pre-filled. So this, to my knowledge, is to account for the fact that we may have several answers to a question. So once our um, knowledge base gets more complex, there might be several answers and then we can make use of the cards and suggest several answers and then the user can select them and in order to yeah show several answers we have this but this essentially just means that um the the match 
in the FAQs with the highest probability of being a match will be the answer that is output. So, and this is it. I think I'm ready to hit save. And then, by the way, if you want to go back, this is how you do it. And then we will play with this knowledge results preference a little bit later. But I found that the sweet spot is between minus 0.3 and zero. I'm going to start with zero and let's see. Let's see how we go with that. So that basically means now if I type uh, what types of pizza, no, let me, okay, so this doesn't work yet. That's interesting, but let me start with uh, what's on the pizza fungi. Um, well, we can see that it doesn't match with the FAQ yet, even though we can see that this is a question here. Oh no, it's not. Something's missing. What sizes do you offer the fungi in? Okay. That's very weird. Why do there's nothing coming here? Oh, uh, it's depending on the case. It's case depend, uh, sensitive. Okay, so what's on the pizza fungi? And I said, what's in the fungi pizza? So this is interesting because the word on seems to make the difference here. So if I say, well, let me say no first. Um, what's in the pizza fungi then now it will get it so there's a certain importance on words here so if I change this to uh, on then it might then it will match even if the user asks what's on the fungi pizza so it might be worth trying uh, appending another sentence here with what's on the pizza fungi pizza uh, but then there's a a trade-off to be made between ma having this question to be human readable or not. So if I provide five ways of asking the question with a slash, then it becomes less human readable. Um, anyway, in order to go into the knowledge preference, I just wanted to show you for this question, we can see that it found multiple answers um, in a, in the knowledge base as a potential match so here what's in the fungi pizza and it had some match confidence of uh, 0.966 and then what's in the pepperoni pizza it's got a match confidence of 9.61 which is still very high but this is the top match um then let's say Okay, so let's start by saying, do you have pizza margarita? Yes, we do. And again, this is not really the answer that I was looking for. Um, so now we have the knowledge uh, the knowledge base uh, question was matched with a high match confidence for the question, do you have any vegetarian pizza? So that is very odd. Um, this would be the place where I start playing with this. So I think if I put it back to minus 0.3, then this will work. But there's a, there's no right way of setting this. So like I said, between Minus 0.3 and 0 is the range that I find appropriate, but then there's no one value to make it perfect. So there's always a trade-off between matching intents and knowledge base, and I haven't found I haven't found a way that it answers all my knowledge quest, uh, knowledge base questions and still matches all of my intents still. So that's 
Yeah, but I'm assuming uh, that the Dialogflow team is still working on the uh, knowledge base matching algorithms. So let's just hope that it will get better or by uh, with time. So let's say again, do you have pizza margarita? Uh, and then, yeah, so suddenly we have a match with the generic and then I can go and do my slot filling here. Um, but then what if I said, what sizes do you offer the margarita in? Then now it's going to my item uh, dot type dot start positive. So even though this is a question from my document, uh, what what sizes do you offer the margarita in? So word by word, this is how I typed it, right? Yeah. But still, it doesn't match. So, and this is where I would go and um, set this value higher again, and then it will, it will match. But um, yeah, you can see there's a total trade-off here to be made. So, I'm gonna go with zero for now. But uh, knowing that it will mess up some of my order intents potentially. Um, let's do it one more time. Do you have uh, pizza fungi? And now, yeah, it's going to my, to this one again. So uh, that's not good. Uh, one pizza fungi. What size do you want your pizza fungi in? Uh, wait, uh, so actually a question came up for me and now I'm going to ask what's in the pizza fungi. Um, and now for some reason it seems to have gotten the size as 10 inch. So that is just very odd. Um, I'm going to give this one more go and do it one more time. One pizza fungi with the reduced uh, knowledge results preference. One pizza fungi, what size do you want you? And then I will ask what's in the pizza fungi? Yeah, it still does it. Really weird. So yeah, in summary, I showed you how to add a uh, pizza FAQ to answer pizza questions. So these edge cases will hopefully not come up too often. Um, but instead, people will probably ask, what types of pizza do you offer? And then this is quite straightforward to answer. And then I can go ahead and say, I'd like to order a fungi. And then I will go to my normal slot filling. So yeah, hope this is useful. I hope that the matching algorithm will be improved. Uh, see you in the next video.